Power's popping, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. First ever in San Antonio, Texas. We got Big Boy, we got Olo Solido, we got Belowski La Elegancia, Julio Ecatras, Jan Weiss, the Beat Machine, Made Men Inc. And it's crazy. Everybody's having such a good time. I feel like I'm back home with all my two cambers and Kuliki Takas. Enough said. So as you can see, we got the salsa music in the back. Now we're going into some bachata. You know what I mean? So we're going to do a real big special story, special event, just for all you right here. JasonFloresOnline.com. So make sure you stay tuned because I will be coming at you real soon. And if you don't know, now you know. Make sure you check out that frequency because Los Latinos are about to raise up your electricity. Pow! How is popping? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, that damn two can Jason Flores right here in San Antonio, Texas. WorldStarLatinos.com. We are in the building right now. I am standing next to one of the great.
How are you able to market yourself to that next level? If, it's a, if there's an artist out there watching this right now, what would be the best advice that you could tell them? You know, honestly, right now, I believe that the internet is one of the, the most powerful tools that you can use to your advantage. When you don't have the help of the radio, you know, when you really don't have, like, uh, somebody mainstream, a big label backing you up, I think the best thing that you could do is basically use the internet to your advantage. I mean, get your music on blogs, hit up people like JC Flores that can get you somewhere, you know what I mean, that can open up a lot of doors for you. You know, get some good establishments, good connections, you know, and I mean, that's that's basically the best advice I can give, you know. Just hit it hard. Make sure to always give you the best. Give the best of your talent and ability, so that way people can see exactly what you're capable of, and always just hit it hard. Hit it hard. That's the, that's the best I can say. And if you do some featurings, take advantage of that, you know, talk with, talk with your boy. If y'all got to do the paperwork, get the paperwork ready, but let that out. And in the music scene, you got to be constant. I think that's, that's, success is based on how constant you are. You know? So the only real success is the success that you put in yourself. Basically, exactly. So either go hard or go home. That's how, you, you, you couldn't have said it any better, man. Check out that frequency, damn it, because he's about to raise up your electricity. Pow! Popping us right, that damn toucan, right here inside San Antonio, Texas, for the first time ever, celebrating this big Latin movement that's taken over the world by storm. That's right. And of course, what better way, what better place to do it inside the Seminea Ballroom? We got the Salceros, we got merengue, we got bachata, we got the whole nine yards, the whole shebang a bang, right? So, people watching right now, they're gonna show you a little something, just a little bit, but before we do, we gotta teach you about that culture. We gotta let you know about the whole movement, the whole reggaeton Latino, the whole like just moving back and forth, you know, listening to the music, let it take over you, like it's, like, like it's a drug, like it's your new, like, just keeps you, it's like your steroid, if you see what I'm saying. And of course, like, as you can see here, right now, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, two can birds and kuliki takas right now. <laughs> Big shots out, we got Lee Rios, not only representative Seminea, but he's gonna let you know a little something about how the whole movement, the whole culture, the whole Seminea experience started. Lee, how you doing, man? How you doing, man? How's Thanks everything for the going? Intro. Thanks for the man No, intro. man, I gotta do a big. I saw you kinda holding your thing, you know what I mean? So, big ups to you and what you're doing. Um, 
tell me something, man. How did you actually get started with with the whole Seminaya experience, man? Actually, just a love for dancing as a kid. Just love dancing. You know that movie back in, I mean, maybe too early for you, back in 87, Salsa. Okay. I called Salsa, but after that, I was inspired. And then shortly after that, in high school, I got involved with some folklorico, you know, some Okay, some folklorico, yeah, yeah, Yes, and then I got introduced a little bit to Salsa. Being a military brat, lack of influence in Texas on professional culture of it. Like the East Coast, you get a lot of it, but over here, I had to figure out a lot of my own, so I was self-taught, and people liked what I did, and then people started sending me around the world doing what I love doing, which is dancing salsa and doing all kinds of different dances. And since then, we've done different videos, we've done a lot of touring, we've done major events, showcases, and we enjoy doing it, we love dancing. Ladies and gentlemen, two can birds and guligi takas. You gotta understand something, man. When somebody can actually put something from the ground up, you know what I mean? It's like, like when you're baking something, you know, you start from scratch. Lee and his whole team, his whole movement, just together, cultively came and founded one of the greatest ballrooms that you can find here exclusively in San Antonio, Texas. Now, Lee, let me ask you something else. This is gonna be my last question. What can, what can San Antonio expect from Lee? and Seminaya? I would say unique passion. Um, that would be the, the, best, the best word or best phrase, unique passion. We just have a humongous love for hospitality for anybody who comes out here. From me to everybody who represents Seminaya, you're gonna get number love and entertainment. And that's open arms for everybody out here. And in a unique way of dancing, we have our own style of dancing. You know, we go, we travel overseas. They have your East Coast style. You got your Cuban style, your Puerto Rican style. Right. You got Seminea style from San Antonio. So yeah, you'll have a great time out here. You need passion. So Seminea is his own planet. Enough said. So make sure you check out that frequency because Seminea just raised up your electricity. This is the two camp bread. Stay tuned. We are coming at you real soon. And of course, we will show you the little ones and twos, the side to side, the front to back. Lee's going to take it on the dance floor just a little bit. So just keep it locked. We about to keep it rocking. Pow! Pow! WorldStarLatino.com And of course, I told you, now you watching it. This is another POW exclusive right here on WorldStarLatino.com, JCFloresOnline.com. They're going to show you a little something, so make sure you bust out the pad and the pen and the paper because you're about to take some notes. They're going to do the thing. POW! May I introduce you to Lee and his partner. They're going to take it away. Let's go. Oh! All right, all right, all right. See, something had to happen right there, ladies and gentlemen. Two campers and Kuliki Takas. You know what I mean? They did the little something. So I'm gonna do my best to interpret what they did. I think they did something like, you know, they did this. You know what I mean? They went the side to side. You know, they went down. I think I just broke my back, but it's all right. So ladies and gentlemen, another POW exclusive. We're here live in San Antonio, Texas. This is WorldStarLatino.com. They just went ahead and raised up your electricity. Go ahead and keep it on this frequency. POW! JC Flores, enough said. Let's go.